Hi folks! Yay! Hi folks! Yay! <laughs> Major excited. Just a quick one. Or two. Oh, actually, we better introduce ourselves in case there's people out there that are new to our channel. So, hi, I'm oh. Donna. Hi, I'm Mike. Swims like a fish. Captain. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> No, it doesn't. I'm, I'm more like Dave. It's not my scenes, it's Dave. Welcome yeah, to our it. channel, anyway, and it's lovely to have you along. Basically, we're just giving you a quick update now because we're heading oh. off island. Uh, we're just heading to Douglas now to get the ferry across, and we are spending one night with our son Oliver, and then heading up to Nottingham to collect our. Oh. I can help. <laughs> to collect our new oh, motorhome. No. So we'll take you along. Hi guys. Hi guys. Is that like five guys? No, it's an eating house, isn't it? Yeah. That was Billy's nose. Uh, sorry, that was Billy's nose. You want to pay attention, don't you? You want to be included in this. And so do you. That's Billy. That's Billy. Uh, it's... Uh, it's a sunny day at the moment, but the sky is so oh, threatening. It's so dark. And yeah. we are heading down to pick up our. I know if you can tell how dark that is, but it's horrible. It, you spin it so fast. I've got about five people now that have just vomited everywhere. <laughs> Hang on a second, let's make it 10. <laughs> oh. 20. 20. <laughs> anyway, hi guys. We're still back in the hand, guys. <laughs> I, see, I should have been a comedian. Me, me teachers always said that I was at school. Yeah. Um, and what do you think? You are some sort of comedian. <laughs> right. So, guys, if we ever get this done, yes, we're... Uh, Donald, you're an awful lot of editing on this one, I tell you. We, on. We're staying at a, a little log cabin in a place called Kelso. And the log cabin's beautiful. It's very nice, very clean, very tidy. Um... Yeah, really nice. They allow dogs. It's they allow about... pets. They allow pets, not just dogs, but pets. Yes, that's even true. Cats allowed apparently. Yes, um, it's about fifteen minutes from Chester, and about ten, mm, just over ten. Well, no, about ten minutes into Delamere Forest, isn't it? Stop pressing the bloody things and your sinews on my arms. <laughs> they're playful, they're, they're squishy. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, Whatever you yeah. say it is, it is. And it's near Tarpley. Because if it's 12 minutes and it's 10 minutes, and I take it's 12 minutes, I get told off. So... No, Why change no, the habit of a lifetime, darling? Because I'm doing my best not to upset you. <laughs> Okay. You're, you're so I'm not, Donna, Donna, when you're watching this, babe, it's not criticism, it's correction. <laughs> All right? I love you, but I don't criticise you, I correct you. Because you know you're shite with numbers. I am shite with n words, I admit it. All right? I, that's what my hand I'm taking. Oh, that was better. Yeah, don't look. The, all the kids put it when the eggs, you, you can't see the fat bits. So let's do it this way. <laughs> you can't, you can't see the fat bits. <laughs> Oh, you horrible thing. Well, can you do it to me, then, yeah? <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. do it to you. <laughs> but anyway, we're getting, as usual. <laughs> so, yes. So, today, we're going to pick up our new motorhome, and we're dead excited. Just in case you didn't yeah! notice. Yeah! You wouldn't know this, but I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Even What's Billy's excited. What's the matter, Billy? <laughs> 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 We've got a lot to say today, haven't you, Billy? Yes. Well, we're on our way. To, we're going from Cheshire, Kelso, Cheshire, yeah. down to Nottingham. Which should take us about two and a bit hours. What will you say, babe? What will it take, Mike? There to three. <laughs> oh, really? That's what I said to you. Well, that's my son has to come all that way back, and then he's still. Well, got guess to go what? Back it's half again. past nine in the morning now, so we're going to be late getting there. Oh well. Because it's supposed to be there for twelve o'clock. We're not. You didn't arrange the time. I did. I know, Donna. But I did hear you say to me, "Oh, I've told Richard that we were there. For, we should be there for about twelve o'clock, twelve thirty, at the latest." Well, guess what, Richard? Sorry, I guess we're going to be late again. The other thing about Donna's shit with numbers is she shares at timekeeping. 
but we share that one. Because she's shouting numbers. Go stop there, carry on. She's shouting at numbers and I'm shouting at words. And when you say timekeeping, that's words, so I'm shouting at timekeeping. What else am I shouting at, babe? Um, eating banana butties. Mm. She does not like banana butties. I like she's like, oh, I've like got to tell you this, guys. She's tucked to cooking bananas in the morning. Supporting the porridge. Oh, oh, <laughs> no. It's almost as bad as melted cheese. <laughs> Why do they smell? No, it's just a thought of cut bananas. Is that our little willow? Has she been locked out? No, it's not our little willow. It's closed the door, but the little willow's <clears> outside <throat> on the veranda. Anyway, we thought we'd just let... I know. that We just thought we'd let you, uh, let you in on what we're doing. So... We didn't vlog coming here tonight, uh, last night, sorry, because it's the, this vlog is not about this sort of thing. It's just about... <laughs> no, Mum, you're not going to do that. <laughs> you watch pulled hairs with arms. He'll never, ever, ever make a good vlogger. <laughs> it really won't. <laughs> right, OK, folks, so we'll, we'll love you and leave you and we'll... Take you on a tour around the, the motorhome once we've got it. Was it Bob Hoskins? You said friggin' flogging. That was a friggin' flogging lootly in Hook. Yeah, I think it was. There you go. Just a you know, useless bit of information and words sticking in my mouth. Tunes stick in my head. Don't know, say a, or somebody will say a phrase. And I can link it to a tune. Not deliberately. Not that I want to. <laughs> it just happens. He's always doing it. Okay. So, finally, we're going to love them and leave them, yeah? Yeah. When she says, okay, so, I think I need a boy Fred. Oh, dear. <laughs> she has to know what it is. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you know us, <laughs> hi. If you don't know us, bye. Because <laughs> I don't want you to be around much longer. <laughs> but to anyone who does know us, thank you for following us. Thank you for being around. Yeah. And... Keep subscribing, keep putting thumbs up. It's much appreciated. And give us some comments. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye. Hi, guys. Well, we've been travelling for hours. And it's nearly time to be there. <laughs> I'm loaded to bear again. This is my usual backseat position. Um, but it's because my son's come along with me and Mike to bring our car back for us so he's been really kind and offered to drive ours back so really looking forward to it now and getting excited see you soon well we've arrived at Loudon's I don't know whether you can hear it but it is bucketing down Mike's just gone out to close the sunroof because the pups are sat in the car and he doesn't want them swimming and we've just ordered something to eat because they're doing a transfer at the moment and then ours is next. Well, he's just about to come in now. Let's see if he's squelching from all that rain. Bit of mess out there. I'd noticed. <sighs> you managed to dodge it pretty well. You're joking, aren't you? Oh, the Same coat's way. wet through. So what you want? Sausage roll? Yeah. And James's on ham and cheese toasty. That looks really nice, actually. Actually. Yeah, I wish. Do you got any sausage, James? No, I ain't got. Mm, yummy. Mine's coming.
and look who is led there in his new space and little girls led down there at the back in her new space all in their seat belts kind of sweet it is but you'll see when when we get to wherever we're going and they'll show you so for now we'll sign off hi guys <sighs> we're trucking Oh, I tell you, it's so nerve wracking the first yeah, time you that's, drive it, isn't that's it? That's surprising. That's a big one, a better station. So they got that bit now. I'm ready to move now. I'm moving in here yeah. to live. <laughs> well, the bubble bus, as we're going to call her, she's on her way back. We're just about 10 minutes away from the dock and she's coming home. And I'm so excited. She is beautiful, absolutely lover. We're heading in now. This is our beautiful Bubbles the bus. We are so happy with her, I have to be honest. Now I'm sorry, but we're just packing ready to go. I have taken the neck curtains. There are neck curtains, but I don't like them, so they've gone. And let me just show you. There's the cap, the front of it. Oops, sorry, my arm in the way. We have little storage places just above the drivers and the passenger side. And here is the sitting area. We're doggy pre we're already prepped for the dogs, so baby blankets on there. This little doggo is already coming with us, aren't you? You're ready to go, aren't you, darling? <laughs> yes, you are. I know, baby. Come on, we've got an adventure to go on, haven't we? But as I've probably previously told you, but I don't know, big TV here for us, which pulls out and rotates. Uh, Three ring gas hub here. All the, all the drawers in front of us now and this one are on a locking system. So if I press that for off, I can open the drawers. There are two bins in there. Needless to say, one has to be the drinks cabinet. So we've got a bottle of wine and a bottle of whiskey in there. We've got some orange juice and eggs and then the other one we're using as the bin at the moment. Knives and forks drawer at the top here. Until we get really sorted, everything in this middle drawer is just sort of thrown in for if I need. <laughs> I'm sure you all must know about that one. Bottom one is pans and things. So that's all sorted. Once we've done that, I've got a fair size sink. Dog bowl's in it already, I'm sorry again. I've got a drainer here, which I bought. The dog bowls are going to be put together so that when we travel, they don't rattle. And when you're ready to move off, you do that. You press that button. Oh, sorry. That's it. Press the on button. And now they're all locked. The cupboards, overhead cupboards, are all soft clothes. Again, we're packed for going so but they're so close so it's really quite fun we've got an overhead bed there more cupboard space over here there's the dials which I kind of like I think they're kind of funky a freezer which have already got ice cream in and southern fried chicken. <laughs> and it's a double open, so I honestly don't understand why they work or, or why people have them, but to me it's just a gimmick. But that's it. Yogurts. Now, we haven't got alcohol in here, I notice. We've still got a little bit of wine from the other day. We stayed in it as a test run. And Mike's got all his chocolate. But we've just got to set up as in what we're taking with us this time. So, now this is a shower, pretty simple shower, not much to say about a shower. Um, 
there is a foot place there which I think is quite handy for me because all us ladies know we need to put shampoos and things in. I know there's one there but it doesn't seem big enough to me. We put this in for the dog's water so this is just us. This door's closed together and there's a little latch on them to, to lock it. Please excuse the bedroom because I could say we're packed to go. Now the bed isn't meant to be this way as we've got it. It's supposed to be across the back there, but it's so big that we really lose each other in there. So we've decided to go with this layout. So it makes it into a king that way if we leave it that way. And we've still got ample of space if we wanted to make it a big bed or even if we just wanted to use that as a shelf. But for now, we're happy having it as a king with our heads there. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six storage compartments, all with lock on. You've got a massive light over the top of it. Uh, sorry, hecky light over the bed, which is beautiful at night time. And a little wardrobe space. I'm sorry again, it's cluttered because I've got lots of stuff in there. Now we have added these because one thing we found after being in here, um, just sitting in here and, and trying to, to work it as we would work it, is there's no shelves to put things. So I've added these two little baskets and they won't rattle because I've put the soft spongy things on the back of them. Now here's your bathroom, your toilet. Hi. <laughs> Self-explanatory really, isn't it, toilet? That does close to make this one area in here. And when I just spin round gently here, Oops, a daisy. This has a door that slides across. Now, I'm not going to slide it right across because I have got carpet on the floor here. So the doggos, I've got somewhere to lie. But that slides across and completely makes it a self-contained bedroom. We have AC. A Dometic AC in. Another big hecky light here. There's a storage over that side. And we couldn't be happier with it. Apart from the issues that we've got to have dealt with now, which are, it's got, we've literally had it probably 14 days now. And we've got a problem with the batteries. And if you haven't already noticed, there is a problem here with this that needs to be sealed up so it's got to go back to Loudon's. Um, they have been very very helpful up to now but doing the job is one thing talking about it is another so we see how they go on but we have we've got no faults with them at the moment um, and basically there she is in all her glory and we absolutely love her so they're pleased to show you our deathless Esprit GT.